All right, all right. Uh, okay, I'm glad I researched that. Um, yes, um, I am commenting on Helping the Armenians uh, from Literary Lapses by Stephen Leacock. And I was kind of wondering, because it was like, it was kind of, I mean, the, the, the target of this of this little humorous piece is not the Armenians themselves, but sort of just the whole process of when you're raising money for a cause and how suddenly it just sort of, it's a, it's a snake that just eats its own tail. It doesn't actually help anybody. It's just like, well, we, we had to, we're going to raise, we're going to raise money for this thing by holding this big grand event in a hall, but we have to pay for the hall and then we have to paint for, pay for the invent things and and basically at the end it's like a net negative like they owe money versus they've actually you know raised any money for for the particular cause and i mean in this one it says like well there's a bunch of armenian people in in the town who are also um need to get need to get uh paid and who maybe this is applying to so there's that and i'm like jesus christ this isn't happening this isn't something that's written during the Armenian genocide, which it isn't, which is good. Uh, I mean, it was a systematic destruction of the Armenian people and identity in the Ottoman Empire during World War One. So this uh, this is like a 1910 um, thing of literary lapses. So it would not it does not fall in that. That's the dates that are given here for Wikipedia, because I'm a Wikipedia scholar, are from 1915 to 1917. Uh, for this, but I mean, it starts off with before World War One, Armenians occupied a somewhat protected but subordinate place in Ottoman society. Large scale massacres of Armenians had occurred in the 1890s and 1909. So maybe that is what it's actually going with. The Ottoman Empire suffered a serious military defeats and territorial losses, uh, leading to fear among the leaders that the Armenians would seek independence. So, yeah, this is actually in the ramp up uh, to what is going to become uh, the um, the Armenian the uh, Armenian massacre. Yeah, in 1909, 1909, there is the Adana massacre, which occurred in. Adana Villette of the Ottoman Empire in April of 1909, a massacre of the Armenian Christians by the Ottoman Muslims in the city of Adama amidst the Ottoman counter coup of 1909, expanded to a series of anti-Armenian pogroms throughout the province. Around 20,000 to 25,000 people were killed in Adanda and surrounding towns, mostly Armenians. It was reported that about 1,300 Assyrians were also killed during the massacre. Um, unlike the earlier uh, Hamad Hamadian massacre, the events were not organized by the central government, but instead instigated by local officials, intellectuals, and Islamic cler clerics, including a Committee of Union and Progress, CP CUP, supporters in Adana. Um, professor of History Ronald Gregor Sunni from the University of Mich Michigan described Adana as more like an urban riot that degenerated into a pogrom. Than, rather than a state-initiated mass killing. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's it's just sort of interesting to see what's, like, this This is happening, the um, kind of Armenians uh, and stuff like that. It's actually, I, I'm in a, <laughs> my, my own funny focus of, I am, I, I'm letting my, my parameters guide me of, that uh, I am only focusing on stuff that happened from 1890 to 1910 in the world. This is my my reading product. This is why I'm reading literary lapses. So it's like, yeah, we're kind of the Armenians are in the background and is going to explode later uh, outside of my my particular my my particular remit at the moment in 1915, 1917. but, uh, was still happening. I was in the public consciousness. If you've got someone like Stephen Leacock writing a humorous piece, uh, making fun of fundraising, that just happens to use Armenians as the example there. But it's at least it's not like he's doing a wacky. Oh, we're we're raising money for Jewish people while the Holocaust is happening. It's like no, it's not that. It's not that. But uh, it's still, yeah, you know, that's he's he's chosen something something far away that probably has no I no 
clear thing about he's just describing what he sees in front of him, which is, you know, how how fundraising oftentimes is nothing to do. It doesn't raise any fucking funds. All right, I will leave it there. More videos later. That's that. This is yeah. This is me talking about helping the Armenians by Stephen Leacock, uh, in uh, from Literary Lapses, nineteen ten, published.